love and welcome back to Rumor Has It Official. Let's get straight into talking all about 90 Day Fiance, The Other Way. This is season three, episode two, and the title of this episode is Testing Trust. In this video, we'll be talking all about Ari and Binyam. But before we get started, my besties, do your girl a big favor. Give this video a big thumbs up, share, subscribe, plus hit that bell so you will be notified on all future uploads. Let's get straight into talking about these two in this episode. Now, uh, before I get started, I will be reading from my notes. If anyone is new to this channel, that way I can stay on topic and get all these points I want to get out and get out of the way. So um, yeah, let's just go ahead and get straight into it. Uh, in this episode, you know, Ari's ex-husband, Leandro. Yeah, Leandro. He is coming to visit. And of course, Binyam is not excited about it. So, I mean, what, what, I mean, come on, like, what person would be excited about their uh, significant other's ex coming to visit? So, yeah, I definitely understand how Binyam feels. But yeah, so Leand Leandro, I think that's his name, he is coming to visit. And Ari basically says that it's been about seven months since she's seen her parents. So, you know, she feels very homesick and she's glad that Leandro is coming her ex-husband is now in ethiopia and i believe he's been there but he had to quarantine for a couple of days before they could see him so um now that that has passed in this scene ari goes to get her nails done so that she can look put together for her ex now benyam says that her clothes look different and she looks extra nice for seeing her ex while she's getting her nails done benyam notices that she is not wearing her wedding ring now when he calls it out she says that it was an honest mis mistake but the whole time she's kind of looking down so i don't know was it a mistake or did she leave that thing on purpose comment down below your thoughts Binyam wants to know if she's embarrassed of him and so he ends up leaving her at the salon to go back to the house just to get that ring he goes back looks for the wedding ring and he says that the ring that he got her is very cheap and under $1 value. As soon as he said that, I was like, yeah, for sure. I already forgot that doggone ring on purpose. She forgot it on purpose because she didn't want her finger to turn green. <laughs> Now, Binyam ends up t returning back to the, the nail salon all out of breath and puts that ring made of grass back onto Ari's finger. In the next scene, Binyam and Ari go to get her ex-husband and Ari tells Binyam to make sure that he's nice. Binyam says that he is very nervous because she is his family and he doesn't want to lose her. They pull up to his hotel and Ari gets out and hugs him, then tells Binyam to do the same. Binyam is definitely jealous and feels threatened. And he comments on the fact that her ex-husband looks like a nerd and doesn't look like he comes from America. So Leandro says that you can tell that there's tension with Binyam. He could definitely tell that Binyam is very standoffish, you know, uh, not so welcoming. And adding that he thinks eventually that they could become great friends because he's not going anywhere and him and Ari are very close. So Binyam says and during his confessional that he plans to watch Leandro with a suspicious eye. Now, I'm not trying to be mean, but in a couple of the scenes when they were kind of showing Leandro, he kind of looks like, I mean, he definitely does look like a nerd, but at the same token, he kind of looks like he's a little loca or I don't know, like he's on drugs a little bit. Oh, I hate to say that, but like, I don't know. That just was like the thought that came to me. I'm not trying to judge this man, but he just seems a little, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm going to leave that alone. Um, it, I guess it was just the way that he looked at times. Maybe he just hasn't had much rest and he's trying to get used to the time difference. I'm going to say that that's another way to look at it instead of the drugs part that might be a little too much. But yeah, that's maybe what it is. Like maybe he's tired. So Leandro brings gifts for both Ari and Binyam. And then I believe I saw um, something on the table for the baby as well. And he gives Ari a bra, right? 
and Binyam speakers. I want you all to comment down below your thoughts on that, on him giving her a bra. Do you feel that it was inappropriate? Because Binyam sure felt like it was so inappropriate. Ari's excuse that she gave was the fact that she is not going to see her family for a while, so nobody can bring it to her. So in that case, since he was coming, she asked him to bring her a bra because they don't have good quality bras in Ethiopia. So comment down below your thoughts on that. I don't know. I just feel like however you try to dress it up or whatever excuse you try to make for it, it just doesn't look good. It just doesn't look good. And I think if the roles were reversed, I don't think that she would like that. You know, if this was Benyam's ex coming to visit and staying in their home and gifting him with underwear, like briefs or boxers or... I just don't think that it would be received well by her. So I get that Leandro is a very close friend of hers. They're very close. But what makes it difficult to feel like these two couldn't possibly reconnect is because they didn't end based off of more or less like a mutual decision of, okay, we grew apart. Things just aren't working out. Um, he cheated. Like it wasn't any of that. It was just the fact that they decided to go two separate paths. He decided to go after his career and she decided that she wanted to learn herself more and to travel. So she just never went with him. So it makes me wonder, like, are they even divorced is has that been finalized and you can tell that there's still a lot of love there so you know she even sits down with him after he gives them the gifts and she gets very emotional and she's apologizing to him for how she handled things and so like i said you could just really see that there's still a lot of love there and they still really care about each other I don't know. I kind of heard stuff flying around after it kind of surfaced about this ex-husband that possibly the baby is Leandro's. I don't know. Do you all think that that's a far stretch that there's no possible way? I, I don't know because I don't know where Ari has been and I don't know the timeline as far as like when she met Benyam, was she still messing around with Leandro? Had she seen Leandro? You know, because like I said, he was off taking on and starting a career and she was traveling the world. So I don't even know if the timelines match up to where that would have even been a possibility, but that is something that I heard floating around. Comment down below your thoughts on what you think. Do you think that's a possibility? But it just really is something else. This season so far, especially with Ari and Binyam. I think it's just really crazy how she would think that that's okay. I think it is very inappropriate and disrespectful to invite your ex-husband. If he is your ex-husband, he still might legally be her husband. Um, but I think it is disrespectful to invite him into the home. And, you know, especially when you know how it makes your spouse feel. You can tell. I mean, no way does he doesn't Binyam doesn't trust her and he has no problem of letting how he's feeling on the inside come out you know sometimes some people are jealous and they keep it in but he is making it clear that he doesn't trust her he doesn't trust his situation he's afraid that she's gonna leave him for Leandro and go back to Leandro and he's gonna lose his family so you know I, like I said, I'm very curious to know what you all thought of 90 Day Fiance the other way. This is season three, episode two, and the title of this episode was Testing Trust. We talked all about Ari and Binyam. Comment down below your thoughts. Give this video a big thumbs up. Share, subscribe, plus hit that bell so you will be notified on future uploads coming out from this channel. And as always, I thank you so much for your love, support your positive feedback, and just rocking with me, your patience. Um, I know it takes me some time to get these videos out, but I'm just so grateful that you all still watch and enjoy them. So um, as always, besties, have a wonderful week. Have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.